guys, it's Drobium77 here. I just thought I'd like to show you my um, the difficulty I actually have in getting my bike in and out of my house. Because I've got the... Um, I haven't got like a, an internal garage or anything, I've just got a shed. Which, I lock the bike up in every day. So, I have to back this bike out of the... Um, down a ramp here. Then to line up the back of the bike with this wall and get it about two inches away there. Then I have to move the front around like this and hopefully now I've just got to back the bike down 40 feet of entry. how tight it is, it's really really tight and I have got a few scratches that put onto the bike accidentally Ooh, there we go good eh? <laughs> so I thought I'd do a little bit of a vlog this morning, just uh, on the way to work. I'm going to go scenic route, which is down the local country lane. That's better, I can actually see it's behind me now. It takes so long to get out of this place. I've ordered a, oh shit, fuel lights on. I've ordered a dictaphone off the internet with a separate mic. Um, Just so that the, um, the audio is a little bit better than this. So I'm going to go slowly because I don't need to rush into work today. It's a lovely morning again. It's absolutely stunning. Blue sky, birds are singing. Oh, I love it when it's like this. It's going to be like this when we go down to Brighton apparently. We're going to have lots of... Look at this bloody tap it like... Joggers. Oh. So, um, we should all be able to sort of sit and sunbathe on the be beach for a bit at least. I'm not sure it's actually what we're going to be doing now. Are we going to be um, just sort of riding around or is there a proper sort of bikers pub or something that we're going to go to? Yeah, I'm not, I've been once to Brighton before but that was um, when I was dispatch riding. I just took a parcel down there and um, it was on the, one of the windiest days of the year and I remember getting to the seafront and turning um, left I think it was and getting almost knocked off the bike by a gale which was most fun <laughs>
to I need to do some work on it. It's mainly it needs some petrol, it needs the carbs cleaning out. Um, what else do you need? Tires need doing reinflating, need some new chain and sprockets, but I'll have to last for about a month. And then it should be fine. Yeah, I think the tires are a bit knackered actually, I might have to get some new ones. But um that'll just save me so much money on commuting to work. This bike only does like about 37 miles to the gallon or something stupid. Which um that's means I'm filling it up like once a week or something, whereas I only have to fill the, the end field up about once well, twice a month to get to work. And that's like uh, 15 quid a time to just um, fill the tank up. It's funny because when you I tell you what, when you're riding like this, you can't even hear wind noise and yet the microphone picks up all the wind noise. I wonder if they're like programs that you can um, edit it out with. It's supposed to be like white noise, isn't it? Now tomorrow I'm going to be doing a, a pretty heavy cleaning session on the bike. Just trying to get it all spick and span for you lot down at Brighton. Um, I've been told by my mates and stuff that my petrol tank must have been re-sprayed at one point. Because if you look at the bike from the right hand side, in the sunshine, the petrol tank actually looks pink. Well, sort of like a ready pink colour. But if you look at it from the left hand side, it matches the side panels. But the side panels sort of fade off in colour uh, towards the front, towards the petrol tank. So, like, the, the left hand side of the bike, so I could, um, no, the right hand side of the bike, so I could really nice cherry red. But the left hand side of the bike is, has got like pink forward um, side panels, if you know what I mean. I'll have to show you when I get off, so it's difficult to explain. But I don't, I can't afford a respray, so I can move.